Murka Mokul is a very interesting classic royal dish of Rajasthan. Let's see how to make this. So let's quickly heat 3 tablespoons of ghee and then let's add 4 medium sized onions that are finely chopped and we're going to fry them till they're nice and golden brown in colour. The onions have caramelised, have got a beautiful golden colour. Let's add a teaspoon of ginger paste, a teaspoon of garlic paste and a teaspoon of fresh coriander paste and let's quickly sauté it for a minute. So now I'm going to add a tablespoon of desiccated coconut. If you do not have desiccated coconut, do not worry. You can just take dry coconut and just grate it fine and fry this for a minute. So here is some almond paste. So I had soaked about 15 almonds in warm water for an hour. Peel them and then ground them to a fine paste. I'm just going to add this. Now we're going to reduce the flame and add a cup of whisked yogurt. Let's quickly add some spices. A tablespoon of red chilli powder. You can add according to your choice the spice level that you prefer to eat. Let's add a teaspoon of cumin seed powder, a teaspoon of green cardamom powder and now we are going to sauté this masala till the oil separates. So you can see the oil has separated. So here I have boiled a kg of chicken with salt and deboned it. And I'm going to add this to the masala. Mix this well. So you can always use boneless chicken as well. But the only issue that I find when I'm using boneless chicken is that it cooks very fast. And if you overcook it even for a minute, it becomes very chewy versus meat that is taken off the bone and used. So I prefer using bone with the meat, boiling it and then deboning it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the chicken stock. So I'm going to add half a cup of this. I'm going to adjust the salt. I think I'm going to add a little bit of more chilli powder because it's not looking spicy enough for my liking. Mix this well. And now let's just reduce the flame and cover it and cook it for 5 minutes. Now after cooking it for 5 minutes, our murk ka mokul is ready to be served. Let's plate this dish. You saw what an easy recipe this is. You can serve it as a starter or a main course. Be absolutely creative while you're cooking. Do try this recipe and keep watching Get Curried.